Um, well, hopefully your niece isn't robbing T-Mobile stores or AT&T stores. She might be, actually. She's <laughs> wild. <laughs> Taylor, okay. where are you? Love that girl. <laughs> St. John's County Sheriff's Office seeking information on one suspect involved in a two-person robbery at an AT&T store in the Cobblestone Publix. This happened on April 27th, just a few days ago. Security camera footage captured the incident showing the suspects forcing an employee to open a safe and stealing approximately, wow, $20,000 worth of iPhones, oh. Apple Watches, and tablets. That's 20000 retail, probably. <laughs> right. Wholesale, yeah, yeah, yeah. less 2.5%. Yeah. yeah. Well, wholesale, you know, it's probably $10. Right. From exactly. all this Apple crap. It's not the best. It's not the best. Nope. Uh, one suspect, Douglas Ivy. Uh <laughs> That's a very fancy name for a guy who steals. Yeah, what's his middle name? Poison? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're filling in Troy's I'm trying spot here. very well yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, doing a great job with the dad jokes this morning. <laughs> Douglas Ivy has been apprehended in Jacksonville. Oh, we've got the footage here. <gasps> Look at this. Uh, been apprehended in Jacksonville, but the second suspect remains at large. Authorities say the duo is part of an organized group responsible for similar robberies spanning from Brunswick, Georgia to Orlando. Mm. The inside oh, there job. He there he is going after the employee. Oh, no. They didn't even wear masks. They just wow, left they their just faces went for uncovered. It. It's brazen. Yikes. Red At least that guy's pants. got a hoodie on. Yeah. It's like Nikes. Yeah. Oh, that's scary. Um, let's see. The sheriff's office is urging anyone with information on the incident or the unidentified suspect to come forward. Um, tips can be submitted to SJSO at crimetips at sjso.org or anonymously through Crime Stoppers at 1 888 tips. Uh, I'm sorry, 1 888 277 mm. tips. Okay. Are they getting off with. It just Does looks it show too, them getting out of there with boxes to me. of stuff? Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. A yeah. Old duffel. Old duffel bag full of iPads. Looks like it's nighttime out there. Maybe they're just closing up. It looks a little calm to me, this interaction. Like, well, you think I'm, this I'm may be an inside job? I'm smelling inside job. No, mm. maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. It looks a little... I don't know. I don't know much about these kind of things. But that's... Um, that's he did the right thing. Whoever the store clerk was or associate was, yeah, just give, give it. Give them what got they want. Insurance. Yeah. Christy Lawrence will pay for it. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, but no, that's what they have it for. Yeah, you. That's what yeah. you got to do. Yeah, man. <clears throat> yeah, you just you don't risk your life in situations like that. It's not worth it for AT and T. No, you know. I'll tell you what. I got robbed once when I was working for Saks at on Fifth Avenue. Really? And it was, but it was like. It's a very busy store, and I'm literally, the guy is like, gave me the, a stolen credit card. I knew it was stolen because security is in my other ear, um, and I had to stall, and I had to do all this crazy stuff, but I had to act calm, cool, and collected, but yeah, they mm. caught him finally, but it's just one of those things where you had to wait until NYPD got to the scene to be able to, you know, uh, get the dude. They were like, can you stall? Can you stall? And I'm like, am I going to talk about the weather, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. But, yeah, yeah, that's probably a tense situation. Scary. Probably. Five minutes probably feels like an hour when you're trying to stall. Yeah, he's buying a, guy a, with a stolen dollar credit watch. Card. I mean, like you know, I'm like, is this my salary? Am I, am I going to be in trouble? Like, Damn, you, know, you never know. But yeah, you're like, oh, I wanted that commission. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I get it for a good deed or something? Yeah. <laughs> At least you're like, I'll lunch. stall for three minutes. <laughs> right. If he's still here, I'm running the card and getting the commission. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he signed the paper. That's it, man. Oh. And you guys got to deal with the credit card issue. <laughs> not me. I made the sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so if you have information, get with the St. John's County Sheriff's Office. I'm sure they will find this guy. Scary stuff. Yeah. yeah. But maybe it's the guy in the hoodie, so it's just hard to locate. And did how? <laughs> I just want to know when that inventory came into the store. Because did they hit huh. it when it would all of a sudden just showed up when they were fully in stock? Or, you know what I mean? Like, there's that's some questions That's a good question. There. Yeah. If this is part of a ring that's going from Brunswick to Orlando, that makes me think less of an inside job type of deal. Well, then check the employee histories where they've worked before. If they're coming from Brunswick and all of a sudden randomly that's a, moved that's to That's a good Saint call. County, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. Detective Davey I'm is ready. on the case. Mm -hmm. Looked a little too calm for me. 
Maybe they need to hire you over the sheriff's office. Oh, wow. They would love that. 